Chinese Premier Li Keqiang has been appointed as the head of the Central Finance Commission, a top planner for the country's financial system. This move is notable as it is a position that would typically be chaired by President Xi Jinping. The appointment is seen as part of a trend of Xi delegating more responsibilities to his chosen deputies since the start of his third term as party leader. Anlis suggests that the decision may aim to better coordinate among various ministries and address shifts in overall policy direction amid an economic downturn. Li's unexpected role signals potential adjustments in policy making, with Xi possibly delegating some power. This move comes as China faces challenges in its banking system, particularly with small regional banks suffering amid a property slump and rising local government debts. While Li's leadership may enhance coordination, experts caution against overestimating its impact, emphasizing the need for structural and long-term solutions to China's financial challenges. Big questions have arisen on Xi's rare move to delegate responsibility. Andrew K.P. Long is the chairman and CEO of Andrew Long International Consultants and Investments Limited. Is now joining us live from Hong Kong. Mr. Long, welcome to the show. Thank you. In your view, what do you think is pushing Xi to delegate powers that he previously clung to closely? Clung to. Well, first of all, I think there is a misconception uh, that President Xi uh, just wants to concentrate power for the sake of concentrating power. This is far from the reality. The, the fact remains that China is facing a number of challenges across the board. Um, and the latest one, of course, is uh, finance. Um, this is characterized by a huge uh, debt uh, incurred by local authorities because the local authorities were given the responsibility of financing their um, local infrastructure, um, but without any um, high degree of subsidy from the central government. So the local authorities relied on um, developing the land and, and allocating the land for uh, property development um, and then um, in order to get the, the, the revenue uh, from the land sales. This has uh, engendered a huge property bubble um, as we've seen in recent months, um, uh, rattling the economy um, and destabilizing um, um, social uh, order. Um, so I think that this latest uh, decision uh, is really to um, get a grip on um, the various um, uh, aspects of um, financial stability in China, mm -hmm. because financial stability is not just the st stability of the banks, it's not just the stability of the lending loans, but it affects the, the whole community. And then um, uh, Premier Li Chang, of course, is a trust, trusted um, um, a deputy. Right. Um, that's why he was chosen to be the premier. Uh, and now, uh, because of the rising uh, debt situation in the local um, um, uh, authorities, uh, and then a huge property bubble, and then increasing evidence of uh, property outflow um, because of the, the various problems China is facing, mm -hmm. uh, it's high time for China to set up a central uh, um, a, a, a regulatory um, super regulatory authority uh, called the Central Financial Commission to be headed by Premier Li Chang. Mr. Long, let's now talk about the power structure. Could this be an indication of a changing power structure in China in Xi's third term? Do you think? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that there's uh, the, um, the all the, uh, the, the the party cadres. Um, that um, has supported uh, the third term um, really regards Xi as the center. There is no other um, sort of uh, political challenger in sight. Um, as I said, uh, um, Premier Li Chang was handpicked by President Xi, and then um, there was a long, long period um, during um, President Xi's um, rise to power uh, before he even became. Uh, the party leader, or even um, in in the Politburo, I mean, uh, Premier Li Chang was uh, worked very closely with him uh, throughout his career path. Um, um, well, of course, that uh, Li Chang, if he proves um, um, a kind of uh, a very capable uh, deputy, uh, he could well eventually, um, although there is no time scale, uh, take over. 
But I don't think that there is any kind of plan uh, or intention that, that, that there is a sharing of power. But even um, in the financial sector, um, although the day-to-day -day, uh, regulatory responsibilities rest with Li Chang, when it is really important, I think that it would be incumbent on Premier Li Chang to report back to to President Xi, even though President Xi doesn't have the time or all the um, 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 the, the detailed knowledge uh, to manage the day-to-day -day affairs. But I think the eventual power still rests with um, President Xi, and he's, he's really the core. Uh, and this core has huge support mm -hmm. uh, from the Chinese people, because according to the um, recent research uh, by international organizations and institutions like the Harvard Kennedy School, Ash sent a report two years ago, uh, the New York-based uh, Elderman Trust Barometer, E-D-E-L-M-A-N, Elder, uh, Elderman Trust Barometer, and the Paris-based um, research center, Ipsos, I-P-S-O-S, Ipsos Center, uh, they all confirmed that the Chinese people um, really um, support um, the rally of the Chinese people in support of the government is ranked the highest uh, um, uh, in the world, multiple ranks ahead of many de democratic countries, including wow. the United States. So the power still um, uh, revolves around Mr. C, but in terms of the um, rising challenges in finance, uh, it's high time to set up a, um, a, super, a, a super regulator to be headed by his deputy, uh, Li Qiang. Mr. Long, finally, and make it brief, kindly, uh, you've talked about the financial system and you've also talked about the economic instability in China. Do you think downturns in the economy and other areas is forcing Xi to take these measures of divesting his roles? Uh, yes, in, in a way, uh, because the, the, all the problems are coming to the fore. As I said, that there is a huge uh, property bubble. Uh, there is an, um, the economy is still uh, relatively weak, uh, even though it has um, uh, recovered. Um, and then uh, there are so, so many um, uh, deep-seated problems facing the local authorities, uh, facing the, um, uh, and even corruption in, in some of the financial institutions. So I think that this is high time for, for for President Xi um, to set up this um, super, super regulator. All right, I've been talking to Andrew K.P. Long. He's the chairman and CEO of Andrew Long International Consultants and Investments Limited. Mr. Long, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you very much indeed. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.